guys. Welcome to week four <clears throat> of fiction. Um, we're about halfway through at this point, so hopefully you feel like you've got a handle on things and are ready to tackle the second half of the semester. Um, for this upcoming week, like I mentioned last week, I will be out of town from Tuesday the 25th through, through Sunday, is it the first or the last, through next Sunday. Um, but I will have my computer on me. I will still be checking email and responding to people. So um, please let me know if you have any questions or concerns. But I won't be on campus for the rest, um, for the bulk of this week. Um, your writing assignment for this next week is part two of the creative writing assignment. So whichever prompt you didn't do last week, do for this week. Um, and again, those two choices are either write, um, rewrite the story in a condensed form. It doesn't have to be extensive, um, just a couple of pages, from the point of view of a different character that's in the story. So um, writing the story from the different perspective of another character. So maybe um, from the wife in Cathedral or Robert. Um, and then the other option, you will have to um, write a part two of a story. So what happens after the story in your text ended, you get to come up with a second part. Um, for both of these assignments, try the best you can to emulate the tone and style of the writer, him or herself. So um, we haven't gotten to Hemingway yet. Hemingway is known for kind of short, terse, concise sentences. And Faulkner, who you read last week, is known for more flowery language and longer paragraphs. So depending on who you're writing in the style of, whose story it is that you're tackling, you're going to try to emulate some of those um, specific styles of that author. So just do your best and have fun with these assignments. Um, keep being active in the forums. We have some more good stories to read this week. Um, respond to one another, keep practicing um, using quotes from the text. Um, I, all of your um, part one and part two short essays from two weeks ago are graded now. Um, good job overall. Uh, I want everyone to work on um, the works cited page to be sure that you're citing the textbook properly. Most people are, but just double check yourself. Um, if you have a little brown handbook, you're going to want to look at how to cite um, a work from an anthology. So I'm sure OWL has something similar. And the reference sheet at the top of Moodle um, tells you exactly where to look for that. So it should start with the author's last name, the short story title, the title, the art of the short story, information about the text, um, and so on and so forth. So be sure that you've got that um, down. And be sure that not only on your Works Cited page, but also in your forum posts and in your essays, that you're formatting titles correctly. Um, titles of large published, um, independently published works, novels, textbooks, films, television shows, those are um, italicized. Works of shorter, um, text that appear kind of as part of a larger text, so a poem, an article, a short story, um, a specific TV episode, those get put in quotation marks. So be sure to be practicing that. Um, with in-text citation um, and integrating quotes into your writing, that's something that students always need to be working on. Um, and I provide a handout that I love. So sorry if I've talked about it before. Um, it's not mine. Someone else created it. Who gets credit for it on the handout? Um, but the art of integrating quotations um, really well into your essay and letting them flow and think about sandwiching a quote between your own voice where you're introducing it and then you're analyzing it and explaining it. Um, so keep working on that. Keep working on really artfully integrating quotations from the text into your writing. Um, when you work on literary analysis, from this point forward, um, try to stay in third person point of view. Um, so instead of saying, I think the swimmer is just a drunk guy's um, rambling dream, make the claim. 
the swimmer is a drunk man's rambling dream. Because when you say that without the I think or I feel or I believe in front of it, you need to prove it through literary analysis and um, examples from the text and continued analysis. So anytime you feel like writing I feel or I think in a literary analysis, scrub it out of there. You're making claims. You want to stay in third person point of view. Um, and start practicing using terminology um, as you will write um, your essays in the second half of the semester. Use some of that terminology that you've learned so far, uh, whether it's climax or protagonist or foil um, or conclusion or denouement, um, symbolism. Use this terminology as you analyze. It will make your papers stronger. So for the rest of the semester, uh, next week you will start working on your first kind of larger scale literary analysis. Uh, there will be a peer review forum for that essay that you can respond to your peers and work on revising your essay. Um, and then you will have um, a large literary analysis as your final exam in this class, basically. You'll also have a quiz at the end of the semester, but your exam where you need to show off everything you've learned is a literary analysis essay. So part of your reading assignment this week is from The Art of the Short Story about writing about fiction. Um, so those sections in The Art of the Short Story are very helpful in regard to helping you write about fiction. You're already practicing doing it. That's what you're doing in the forums. That's what um, you did in that brief character or plot analysis that you did. You've been practicing the skills that you need for literary analysis. And that's going to be your focus of your writing for the second half of the semester. So keep reading, mark up that text, um, discuss things in depth in the forum. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns at any point. And um, I look forward to reading your creative writing. Have a good week.